I am Tom Dent, a Republican, a family man, a professional pilot, and rancher. I'm a lifetime resident of the Columbia Basin and your state representative since 2015. I have continually shown integrity, honesty, and strength through leadership and a strong commitment to these principles. I am asking for your vote for my proven quality in our government and to continue to project and keep your voices strong. Time has proven. The choice is clear. I am a uniter, not a divider. Paid for by the committee to re-elect Tom Dan, state representative. Walls were raised on Friday for the 14th Habitat for Humanity home in the Moses Lake area. Madison Jennings and her two children, ages 8 and 6, were on hand Friday as Columbia Basin Job Corps students helped raise the walls of their new home. Habitat for Humanity of Greater Moses Lake has been fundraising for three years to make the Jennings' new home possible. The first of 13 completed homes was built in 1998, and the organization builds a new home about every three years. Homes are sold to the partner families at no profit with a low interest mortgage. Homeowners must meet several qualifications, including income restrictions and about 450 hours of sweat equity into the building of their new home. Habitat officials say each home is built off the family's needs and income restrictions. Terry Hall, construction consultant and site manager, said it takes about nine months to construct each home, all done with the help of volunteers including Job Corps and area churches and businesses. Hall said they're hoping to have the 14th home ready for the Jennings in time for the holidays. The Jennings were joined by family and friends and Moses Lake Christian Church Associate Pastor Phil Payne for a brief prayer before Madison and Job Corps students raised the first wall of the new home. For more information on homeowner applications, volunteer, and donation opportunities, visit HabitatMosesLake.org. This is Joe Utter for iFiber One News.